Hello my friends, we're back in Luminar Neo and today we are going to create the cinematic blue preset. This is uh, the image before and this is after, before and after. We will create this preset and then we'll apply it to all these images and see if it works. So let's start from the beginning. I am going to go to edit and I am going to revert to original. So let's start from the beginning. We'll start with develop. And here I will add a little bit of smart contrast, not too much. And then I will increase the highlights a little bit, maybe around plus 20. And I will also lift up the shadows to around plus 30. I will try to say all the number out loud just in case you're following along. And that way it makes it easier for you to follow along and do your edits. You just have to listen. You don't have to really see what I'm doing. Now for the whites, I will take them down to negative 10 and the blacks, I will lift them up to about positive 20, 20, 21. All right. Now we have our curve tool and in any cinematic edits, you will find that the blacks are lifted. So we will do the same thing. First, I like to put a dot over here because I want to keep my highlights. I don't want to darken my highlights. And then I will lift the shadows to something around here and then bring down to create a little bit more contrast and darken the, the shadows. But the blacks are lifted so we do not get pure blacks. And that is already looking more cinematic. I think I am done with develop. Oh, let's work with a little bit of the vibrance. I would like to increase the vibrance maybe about plus 50. And I prefer to use vibrance versus saturation because it kind of preserves the skin tones and everything gets a little bit too saturated. So I will take the saturation down to negative 10. One of the hardest things when you make a preset is to keep the skin tones looking good. A lot of presets look good on landscapes and street photography and whatever. But when it comes to skin tones, it's hard to, you know, keep the integrity of the color. All right. Now we are done with develop tool and we are moving into the color. And here we will work, work with the HSL panel. I will start with the hue and I will take the reds down to maybe negative five. I'll move them a little bit into magenta. And then the orange, I'll take it to negative 10. The yellows, I am going to completely move them into the orange. So I'll go to negative 100. The greens, I will move them towards cyan, so I'll go plus 50. The cyan, I will move it, no, I'll leave it where it is. And then the blues, I will move it towards cyan to maybe negative 30. The purple and magenta, I would leave it where they are. Now we are moving to saturation. And to the saturation, I will leave the reds where they are. I will increase the saturation of the orange to plus 10 just because that's our skin tones. We want to make sure we keep our oranges. The saturation on the yellow, I will move it down to negative 80. I don't really want any yellows, especially since there are a lot of yellows into the foliage. I want to kind of desaturate the foliage so then I can add the blue to it. So yellow, negative 80. Green, I will desaturate them. Like I said, I want to desaturate my greens. Uh, maybe negative 90. And then cyan, I will desaturate it all the way to negative 100. Blues, I will desaturate, but not completely. Maybe to negative 70. Purple and magenta, I find like those gives you really funny like tones into the image. So I like to desaturate them to 100. So negative 100 for both purple and magenta. Let's move on to the luminance. I will leave the reds where they are. I will leave the oranges where they are because those are the skin tones and they're looking good. I will take the yellows down to negative 20. And that's because a lot of the yellows, they were in the foliage. Greens, I will take them down to negative 50. I will leave the cyan where it is and the blues, I'll take them down to negative 30. Purple and magenta, I would leave them where they are. All right, now it's already looking good. Let's add that blue because this is, after all, a cinematic blue um, preset. 
To do so, we will do that into toning. So into toning, I'll go to the amount, I'll put it at 100, and we'll start with the highlights. And I'll put the saturation at 100, so I can see which color I'm working with. For the highlights, I want to add a little bit of cyan. And for that, cyan lives somewhere in the 190s. So I'll go to 190. And you see we have some cyan. Now we don't want to add a whole lot because it will affect the skin tones. So we just want to add a little bit of it. Maybe just like saturation of 10. And now the skin tones are still looking good. And we did not mess up anything. Next, let's go to shadows. And here I have the amount to 100%. I'll put the saturation 100%. And in the shadows, we want to add our blues. For the blues, I will put it somewhere in the 220 range. So let's go to 220. And here is really how much blue you want to add. Anywhere between 20 to 40, I think will look good. You can even go to 50. I'll go to 40 for this one. And that is looking good. Maybe I want to add just a little bit of enhance. So I go to enhance and add some accent, not too much. Maybe around 14, 15. Let's go with 15 for this one. And this is our preset. Now let's save it as a preset and see if it really works. Because sometimes you might edit an image and it looks good. But then when you try to use it as a preset, it looks horrible in other photos. So on the bottom here, let's see, first of all, let's see our before and after, before and after. So click on the action and save as preset. I am going to name this one Cinematic Blue. And click enter. There we go. Now let's go into our catalog and see how this one works. There is another portrait image and now if I go to preset and double click on it, the skin tones look good, the blues look good, this one, it works. Let's see over here on landscape with some houses, double click on our preset, and that one looks pretty blue. It's not bad, it's maybe not my favorite, I don't know if I will edit that like that. There we have uh, just a basic woodland scene. Let's see, that one, it's pretty blue, it's not bad. Let's see this one, cinematic blue. That one looks pretty good, I like that one, very moody. We have an awesome tree over here. And that one looks good, maybe a little bit too dark, I would lift the shadow on that one, but it's not bad. We have a drone shot here, and this one, it looks pretty good as well. I like that one. We have some street photography where we have some golden tones, and that one definitely added more blue. This is the before and after. Before and after. I think he did a great job on that one. Another portrait. Let's go and see cinematic blue. And that one didn't change it much. This is the before and after. But I think it improved it. Let's see this landscape image. And here I think the oranges are a little bit too saturated. So this is the before and after. I do like the blue in the shadows. For this one, I would go into edits and just take the saturation of the oranges down a little bit. We have this image, let's see, cinematic blue. And that one works well. We have this image, which is a little bit different, and cinematic blue. For this one, I think the image is overexposed. I would go to edits and then to develop maybe bring the exposure down, and that just makes it a lot more cinematic. That is the before, that is the after. What other images? Let's see, this one, this is kind of like a brown tone. I don't assume it will do much to it. All right, it did add some blue. I like it better, it makes it a little bit richer, I think. This is the before and after. Let's see, this image is a window view, and that one works really well, so the water and the mountains look really good. This hot air balloon image. That one is not bad, not my favorite. Another portrait, let's see if this one will work well. And the skin tones look good, the blue looks great, that is not bad. 
this old car and the forest. That one I like. The blue maybe is a little bit too much. Maybe I'll pull down on the toning on the blue. Maybe I would even increase the saturation of the oranges to bring back that rust. Another forest image. Cinematic blue. That one works. I would leave it just the way it is. Another forest. I think it works pretty good with the forest. Eh, I don't know about that one. It's a little creepy. Another street photo. That one works well. It got rid of the yellows. As you can see, the preset, if I did before, it had like the yellow on the motorcycle and the green and the foliage. And before and after, before and after. That's what the preset does. This is like a dark night scene. And if I go to cinematic blue, that one works really well. And another street photo. That one works well as well. Let's see the winter scene. I used this one in the last uh, preset tutorial. That one works well as well. I like it. And the portrait. I think we know skin tones works pretty well. That one is beautiful. I actually like it what I did before and after. I like it better the after. And a golden hour car. That one looks good as well. That is the before and after. So now if we go back to catalog, we edited all this image with this uh, cinematic blue preset. And I think most of them worked really well and it was improvement. So um, I hope this was helpful and uh, you would like it and use this preset. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you all in my next video.